Hey y'all, what's going on? So I'm back in here uh, with a help of sister app. Okay. And y'all already know, stop right now. The story will be below outside of, you know, the name and all of that. So read it. You know, pause it and read it. Come back. Okay, welcome back. So the gist of it is this. Is that basically... She decided, you know, she had been with this guy for a while or whatever. They've been together, well, she said two and a half years at the end. Um, she decided that she wanted to have a break on sex or whatever. So they went two weeks without having sex. The first week, they kind of stayed away from each other. Because she knows that he's the type that has a strong sexual appetite. The next week, she came on so she couldn't do nothing. And apparently, he took his ass. He said one evening when they was on the phone, oh, I'm tired, I'm going to go to bed, whoop de wop He didn't go to bed. Stop it. Oh, Lord. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. He didn't go to bed. He went to a strip club. Excuse me, y'all. He went to a strip club. And, let me minimize this. And apparently he whipped his pee-pee out. He went to a strip club. Which she was okay with. But then he told me that he was getting a lap dance from a stripper. And he whipped his pee-pee out and began to stroke his area. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know, and he told her whatever. And she's like, you know, should she forgive him? She did forgive him. But she's like, it's, you know, and what I'm getting is it's hard for her to get over it. But on the same token, she's saying that she done some things you know, in the relationship or whatever, which is part of the reason why she's taking him back. She does care for him. And I guess some of it is that um, he did tell her, you know. <sighs> My thing is this. Since when does, because you, your body need a break or whatever for two weeks, since when is it so easy for you to just throw the motherfucking relationship away because you ain't get nothing for two weeks? I mean, really? Y'all have been, you said together two and a half years and because you wasn't giving him no nookie. Two weeks? Whether you know he got a strong appetite or not. Shit, your whole relationship should not persist upon how much sex he's getting. So if you're not giving his, him his allotment of coochie, he's out to the strip club buffing his shaft. <clears throat> yeah, that was way harsh, wasn't it? <laughs> Whatever he doing with his pee-pee. My thing is, is, I don't, even though you said you done things, but if you continue to always give in, I mean, you know, you make your own decision on that. But I will say this, ladies. Now, I mean, you know, you, you can forgive somebody or whatever, decide to stay or whatever, and that's your choice. But if you continue to do that shit, so what if you get sick of some shit like that and you can't have sex? He off to the next motherfucking strip club, and the next thing he going to be is out in the parking lot screwing one of them. I'm just saying. Like, I would have really felt let down by that, too. You know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't have been in me to forgive him on that. You know, I mean, you know, well, I would have forgave him, but as far as staying together, I don't think I could have done that. You know, like that little of a time and you gone. So that's all you out of him is a piece of ass. You know what I mean? Like for real, two and a half years. I think it's time for you to evaluate and look at that shit. Like anytime he didn't get no coochie for two weeks. And this is what he going to do. Fuck that sexual appetite shit. Everybody got one. But in a relationship, it's supposed to be about feelings and how you feel, you loving that other person. And in two and a half years, if he didn't love you enough to keep his pee-pee in -pee his motherfucking pants for two weeks, then it's an issue. That means you love him more than he loves you. I'm sorry. He's in it for something other than, you know what I mean? Like the sex is what's driving him. I'm just saying, that shit just kind of struck me as just kind of off. Like, okay, two weeks, you done. And I've heard women say this before, and a lot of times it's been women who will be like, well, we used to have sex, you know, three or four times a week, and now we only had it twice. I know he's cheating. What if he was motherfucking tired? A lot of women use that as a telltale sign that something is going on, which I'm not saying that it's not. But since when is it not, you know, not okay to say, I'm just not feeling sex right now, or I need a break. Can I get a week? 
you know, a break. I'm saying if y'all should have had something more in common, I don't give a fuck if y'all play tiddly motherfucking winks. You know, and the fact that y'all had to stay away from each other because he can't restrain, that's some bullshit. He should have looked at you when you told him, look, I just need a break from this. Whether it was just, you know, it could have been any reason. As a woman, you could have been like, well, I'm a little yeast or what the fuck ever. You know, would you stop it? Y'all, the puppy is going crazy. I'm just saying, since when does two weeks make you go and throw the relationship away? You know, like, ugh, and that whole, I'm sorry, baby, you know, uh, you know how I am. I got to have sex so many times a week, and what do you want me to do? What I wanted you to do was be a real motherfucking man and have some self-motherfucking control. You know, mm -hmm. honey, I'm sorry. In my opinion, I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to be in the wrong with him. Now, you know, you can forgive him, but as far as, you know. He didn't care no more about y'all relationship than that. I'm just saying. That's just the way I would see it. Now, you said you took him back or whatever. Don't feel no shame in that because it's up to you. That's your man. And it's all about what you, you know what I mean, what you want to do. And you said, well, I did some things, this and that and other. But did you take your ass to the strip club, throw your leg up and let have on your hootie nanny? I hope not. You know what I mean? Like, for real. This whole thing of men want women to endure way more than they endure. You know what I mean? Like if a man catches a woman cheating, it is, y'all, they go bananas. A woman is going to be upset. She's going to be mad or whatever. But, not, you know, she's more apt to take that man back. But if a man catch that shit, oh, he's done, honey. His whole motherfucking shit has been raped. To, he ain't, what the hell? He's all malfunction. Why should it be different for us? Why do we have to endure that much more? Is what I'm saying. Yes, we are more emotional, caring, and this and that and other, forgiving and all of that. But that don't mean it don't hurt no less or whatever. And again, I will say this iron motherfucking wears out. You know, just because you're a woman and we're supposed to be a little bit more soft and forgiving, this and that and other, don't mean you got to put up with a whole bunch of bullshit. We wouldn't even have this motherfucking conversation if you would, I, what I would say to you and I would say to any woman in this situation. <laughs> when you start loving you more than you loving him, then you'll answer your own motherfucking question. When you set your criteria and say, I'm not willing to deal with this. I put up with that. Uh, uh, suck this in and this and that and other and take this from you. Then we don't even have this conversation. Because for one, once he do the first motherfucking thing, you're going to be like, you know what? Between me, nah, this ain't going to work. This not for me. And it's okay for you to be that way. It is okay for us to have a criteria. Okay. That's just the way I feel about that shit. You know, it happens to us a lot. We, you know, as women, we're supposed to put up with so much more. And it ain't that way. Mm-mm. Why do I got to deal with some more? Why do I got to be... Uh, this superhero Teflon ass broad and put up with what? No, I'm tired. I ain't putting up with it. That's it. It's okay. You know. So, anywho, y'all, help the sister out. Y'all tell her, you know what I mean? You may not agree with what I'm saying. Tell her how y'all feel about this shit. How would y'all deal with this situation? Would you take him back? Would you take him back? You know, I'm curious to know. Would you accept that shit and take him back? You know. So anywho, I'm out of here, y'all. I'm gonna y'all already know what's below. You know, look at it, leave y'all comments, video responses, or whatever. Help this love out. I'm out of here, girl. I wasn't gonna be doing it. I, I couldn't stay. Anyway, I'm out.